Anya Seo. And I'm Arielle. And, and we're, we're so, so due for two. two. Okay, so the next one we're going to be reviewing today is going to be You're Beautiful. Or like He's Beautiful is another alternate title. Yeah, again, with the alternate titles. Uh, okay, this one came out in 2009. It was 16 episodes, uh, short and sweet. And that's Definitely. how I would describe this one. <laughs> um, I mean, this is one of the one of the ones that I feel like has a really big ensemble cast, again, sort of more like Boys with Boys Over Flowers, mm -hmm. right? Because, um, you, again, you have, like, a boy band, so that's, like, what centers around yeah. this boy band. And so, you know, it's a really great bunch of guys, really fun to watch. Um, the main characters in this, so we have Jung Gun Suk, who we've done a few other things with before. It's a Mary State Elle Knight. Yeah. Um, we, him. we love him. And he plays Huang Tae Kong. We have Park Shin Hee, who plays Go Min Nam, a boy. And um, Go Min Yo, her girl character. So she's playing a twin slash like cross dresser. Cross -dresser. So it's a little bit of everything there. <laughs> and then we have Jung uh, Young Wa playing uh, Kang Shin Woo. So that's part of like, our love triangle, pentagram, whatever we're going to call it. And then Lee Hong Ki playing Jeremy. Jeremy. <laughs> that's the one I'll say. that one. So Jeremy. <laughs> uh, there's also another girl playing like, Yui and things like that. So we have a couple other characters mm -hmm. who add to like the love or love dimension of this story yeah. and this is one of those ones with the characters here uh the, like so the mage the boys represent and um the park Shin's character represent angel which is like a group so it's music is a big part of this one and a driving lot of force. people here are musicians right mm -hmm. so we know that um park shin he sings and we've seen her sing in other things as well um in other dramas and then obviously jim sook um we saw him sing in mary stayed out all night um young hua he's in um the what is it called? Heartstrings? Heartstrings, but isn't he in a band as oh, well? Oh, he's in a band, yeah. I mean, I'm not sure the name, but... Um, yes, yeah, so he's in a really, We don't really know our K-pop very well, no, so we're working this was on like it. our introduction to K-pop, yeah. I think. A CN Blue. I don't know uh, what he's in. Yeah. He's popular. Okay, so then, uh, and like, I think Jeremy... I'm plays, sure you guys can tell us about this, so yeah, please tell us a little bit more about K-pop, <laughs> but I think he also sings. So, I mean, clearly, like, that's a big part of it. The music is a big part of the characters here. Um, and I think that, like, the chemistry with that, like, you got a tons of chemistry here. Oh, yeah. This was one of the ones I felt, like, was acted really well, even though it seems like it's a little bit younger, though. Yeah, right? they, we're not really sure, like, what the age of the characters are. I'm not sure if they ever say. It seems like they're just out of high school, um, but maybe, like, they didn't finish high school because they're musicians. I'm not really yeah. sure how that works, but it does feel a little bit younger. Yeah, and, like, also kind of adds to the ambiguity of it is, like, she starts out in a convent. Yeah, so she's, like, a, like, a novice. novice. Yeah. yeah, and but she doesn't actually become a nun, so that's how we get over the issue of she ends up like moving in with four yeah, other, guys. With other guys, three other guys, yeah. Uh, so that's one of those things that like you kind of just get used to. In this yeah, you show. get over that really quickly. Yeah, because they don't really mention it a lot throughout the drama. Um, okay, so love triangle. Love triangle. So this, this is we, not a love triangle. This is like a love pentagram. So yeah. we have two main girls, the one girl slash boy, so love music, yeah. and then we have three guys. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a little bit of everything going on here. Um, what I love about this yeah. shit, love thing is that they all love her instantly. Yeah. Like, you know, whether or not they know she's a girl or not, yeah. there's love. There's, like, instant chemistry, so it's great. And it's, like, this kind of is the kind of, like, issues that lead to shenanigans. Yeah. Instead of, like, Fun um, Coffee Prince drama, right? Yeah, so, so we'll, we'll talk, talk about, about Coffee Prince, Prince another one. But this is one of those ones where it kind of leads to fun. Yeah, where, like, uh, the, yeah, the idea of her dressing up as a boy is, like, yeah. It's a little more light So that goes into the mistaken identity. Mistaken identity, definitely. definitely. This was one of the first ones we saw where we really saw, like, the Twelfth Night, like, Shakespearean idea of cross-dressing and somehow to be, like, an endearing way to meet men. Yeah. Uh, which is what happens here. And, like, so the character here, I mean, you see her mostly as a guy. Mm -hmm. And this was one of those things that actually I thought was kind of, um, I hadn't really seen in a lot of American television. I think it's hard yeah, the only really comparison I can think of in American, like, movies or recently has been, like, She's the Man. Yeah. Like, that one's, like, obviously a direct Twelfth Night, like, you know, reproduction. Mm -hmm. Very few other things, though, we have that. I that think it's come. hard for girls to play guys here. I mean, I know I'm 5'4", like, my husband's six foot, so I can't, you know, like, comparing that, like, I'd be a small guy, you know what yeah. I mean? Um, and that, I think, has a lot to do with the changing, too. And I also think that this whole idea of, of like, cross-dressing and pretending to be a guy sort of leads to, like, being able to, like, develop relationships, and that's yeah. why they use it. Yeah, like, it's actually a really great tool in these shows, yeah. and we, we actually love Coffee Prince and You People a lot. Yeah, so misunderstandings with this, I mean, I think the misunderstandings really add to, like, the hilarity of it. I mean, exactly. that's the whole point. Like, they don't know who she is, the misunderstanding of that, or 
and even like the perceived misunderstanding so with the love triangle um or the real true love triangle i guess with it is to shin Wu's character and then tai kong and then um minam and like i think that the sort of misunderstanding or is there a misunderstanding <laughs> and that's sort of what you're like that's asking great. yourself here okay so we have the bad guy turn good which is like cool like best example i feel like best. in a k-drama i've seen here so what i think so great about this drama um is jingum sook's facial expressions <laughs> Watch this drama for his facial expressions. Because he goes from one extreme to the other, yeah. right? Like, you have, like, extreme anger. We like, call it, like, like, how... Yeah, like, you're, like, afraid, kind of, like, direct look him in the eyes with this one. And then, like, to, like, happy, like, a yeah. six-year-old. Like, <laughs> just joy. <laughs> and I think that's kind of... It's so endearing. Yeah. And, you know, we love Jang Dun Suk as an actor because his something about him yeah. is so lovable and so endearing. And that's, like... Just fun. Yeah, it's great. And this, this show definitely has all of that. shows his best acting skills. Piggyback rides. Okay, so not only do you have piggyback rides here, but you have, like, <laughs> piggyback rides and vomit. You know what I mean? Like, just add, like, the perfect... What could go better with piggyback rides than vomit? And, like, yeah. so that's all you need to say about that one. Yeah. But, like, again, like, this is a funny drama. You know, like, I don't think you're going to add the seriousness to this one. Like, yeah, it's right. definitely not, but funny. Kisses. There's yeah. some great kisses yeah, in this one. Yeah, cute kisses. And I think this is, like, where you see the, um, something that is a common thread, and unlike Mary State All Night, sort of the frozen Korean drama kiss. Okay, so you'll uh, see yeah. this in a lot of things. <laughs> and this is why I feel like it's a little bit younger. Like, mm. I don't know if in real life... I would ever kiss someone for five minutes in the exact same position. <laughs> um, but in Korean dramas, it's fun and it's cute. And um, it makes sense. You yeah. know, I, I, that's why I think that maybe that's what I was trying to find earlier, why it pegs a little young. I think that has a lot yeah, to do I with mean, it. Yeah, I mean, it's endearing. It's very, very innocent. Maybe um, it has to do with the fact that she was nun. Yeah, you know, that's very true. Yeah. And the thing is, it's interesting because even though she's living in a house with three guys who yeah. are all in love with her, there's like no shenanigans on that level. No. So, you know, it's very innocent with all of that. There isn't really even a reference to like potential shenanigans. Yeah, it really, it's very, very innocent, but it's still really lovable yeah. and you don't feel like, you know, it's being too innocent, like it's talking down to yeah. you or like, it's just still really fun and really like cute. Um, so then fashion. Uh, this one is yeah. an interesting male fashion. I think that the, um, well, it's some misses. <laughs> you feel like? There's a few misses in this one. I think that the, the problem is that there's, you know, there's a lot of eyeliner in this one. Mm -hmm. And, like, I can respect the eyeliner and Like, I'm from, like, the generation that loved, like, Jared Leto and, you know, my so-called life when he did the full eyeliner. Like, I'm into that. But there's a lot of makeup yeah. going on in this one. And Mars I think it has to deal with, like, the K-popness of it. Yeah. Uh, a little bit. Extreme. And, like, also some outfits I don't really get yet. Like, yeah. the, like, matching suits. Like, just stuff that doesn't translate to me. Um, and some of, like, the shirt choices. <laughs> There's a lot of, like, man cleavage. And, like, there's something yeah. that we also notice with Boys Over Flowers, like, the low-cut men shirt. Yeah, I'm not used which, to Which, you know, we're not used to. It's definitely something different. Um, and they're, they have, like, they're so, f there's nothing going on there. There's no chest hair or anything. So it's not like it's, like, <laughs> suggestive. It's just very interesting. So there's some interesting fashion choices yeah. here. Um, it's not our favorite fashion show. It's definitely very, like, dramatic. So it's, like, like I can imagine for stage, it makes sense. And the K-pop thing, it definitely makes sense to us. Yeah, it's, like, interesting. Yeah. Um, our ratings. Marsh, yeah. you like the first? Um, I feel like this one's great, and I feel like it's great for what it is, right? Like, you don't want to put this one, like, in a serious category, so I'm gonna say for a comedy, for a comedy drama, K-drama for me, this is gonna be a 9. I don't think you're gonna get much better than this is, like, a funny, sweet, young drama. So if you're looking for something lighthearted, go with this drama. I mean, I think this is also a staple for a lot of people for a reason. It just works, and that's why I would say about that one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give exact same piggyback score. I'm gonna give it nine yes. piggybacks, and I think this is really great for me because, the, like, the love pentagram, I think, is so cute yeah. in this one, and what I love about it especially is, like, the Jeremy character, which we didn't really talk about. I think Jeremy is so cute, and I think he's, like, really lovable in this one, and I've actually watched the Japanese version, and I didn't like the characters quite as much in the Japanese version, but, like, I feel like the Jeremy character is explored better in the Japanese version, so definitely check that out if you like this show. But I just think this show is great, so definitely I'm going to give it nine piggybacks. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Please bye. subscribe.